in science, you seldom have an aha moment in which you get the definitive final answer. This is exactly what's happening and we're confident. We seldom get that moment. What you do is you collect information over time, you develop hypotheses. We get ever closer and closer. Today, I'm here at Three Sisters in Central Oregon, and I'm here to install some monitoring equipment to keep track of something that's been going on for 25 years and still goes on today. Hi, my name is Dan Zarishan. I'm a geologist with the U.S. Geological Survey, and I'm here at Three Sisters uh, today to install some GPS monitoring equipment that will tell us how much the ground is moving, not, not shaking with earthquakes, but moving ever so slowly, uh, just a small fraction of an inch per year. Sometime in the mid-1990s, the area around Three Sisters started going up. And it was a very, very large area, more than 10 miles across the center of it going up about two inches a year. Now I'm going to say that again. More than 10 miles across, center of it going up a little more than two inches a year. One thing that can cause that is magma moving around underground, or in particular, magma rising from greater depth in the Earth up to a shallower depth, which forces the surface to move upward in a very broad bulge and we suspected that might be what was going on. A colleague of mine used what was then a relatively new system that makes use of radar satellites orbiting the Earth. They take radar images of the Earth's surface. They go around some additional orbits. They take another radar image of the same surface. And by overlaying those and comparing them in a, in a certain way, you can actually get a picture of how much the ground moved toward or away from the satellite, down to a fraction of an inch. It's revolutionary, it's, it's incredible. And my, my colleague did that using images from the late 1990s, 1999, 2000, and what he saw was this big bulge, 10 miles across. And so the USGS, uh, working with our partners uh, in the Forest Service, installed a series of monitoring stations out here to keep track of the rate at which that bulge is growing. And we measure that in a variety of ways. We continue to use the radar, uh, radar satellite data to keep track of it, to give us the broad map. But then we put GPS stations out at specific locations, fixed to rock that's rigidly attached to the Earth, and we can measure very, very accurately how much that particular point has moved, more accurately than you can measure using the radar satellites. The radar satellites give you a picture of the entire bulge. Our GPS stations give us very, very accurate measurements of how much individual points have moved. And that's what we're doing here today. Hi, today I'm here at Three Sisters and we are right near South Sister, which is right over there. And today I'm going to show you how we set up our GPS monitoring system in order to measure ground deformation. So we have a pin right here that is cemented into this lava flow. Um, and then this is the antenna, and we're going to have to set it to true north, but it just goes right in like this. Um, and this is what receives the signals from the satellites in order to collect the data. Um, this is the receiver, and this is what's going to store all the data that we collect over the next two months. And it is powered by two lithium ion batteries that look like this. And we also have this antenna cable, which basically just connects the antenna under here and it's going to go in through the box through the side and connect to the receiver um, and then we also have a solar panel over here which will face south um, and that's just the backup in case the batteries run out of energy okay so box right here we think the most likely cause of the uplift has been an injection of magma, that magma has come from deeper within the earth up toward the surface to a depth of roughly three miles, a little more than three miles below the surface. 
and it's accumulated there over time. This kind of process has not been documented very many times any, anywhere on the Earth. Because I said it made very few earthquakes, it made one earthquake swarm, relatively small. Um, but if, if it's not making earthquakes and if you're not using satellite radar data or some other form of data to look, episodes like this in the past probably happened in other places and maybe here in Central Oregon as well and we just didn't know it. Um, so we think it's important to monitor this one as carefully and thoroughly as we can for as long as it goes on to try to get ever closer to that aha moment and say, okay, we're pretty sure this is what happened and uh, this is the process that caused it.